Unbound O2 by Keisha Shante. Keisha Shante Harper was born in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. She's of Portuguese, Puerto Rican, and Trinidadian descent. She had her first performance when she was six. She signed to Sony the same year to release music in Canada. In 2012, she did a few guest hosts on BET's 106 and Park and became one of the main co-hosts in 2013. She is currently a free agent. Some of her influences are Beyonce, Aaliyah, Brandy, and Tupac. Unbound O2 is Keisha's second U.S. project. How do we feel about it? Keisha Shante, man. Yeah. When I turned this drone on, I didn't really know what to expect. We were going to BJ's. And I was just like, let's check it out, man. Mm-hmm. Red light came on and uh, I was like, cool. It's got a nice, cool R&B vibe to it. You know, she's talking about having a hard day at work and she's at the strip club and she kind of doesn't want to think about anything. She just wants to watch the young lady dance. Yeah. I guess I can understand that. I don't, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't go to the strip club. Uh, it's a cool song, though. It's, it's got a, it's a cool vibe. Yeah. It's like. I feel like if she made a video for it, it could be like one of those slow songs. Maybe they play in a strip club. Yeah. Uh, Bryson Tiller, I thought was pretty cool. Uh, you know, she's just saying like, you know, the person, the guy got her in her feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like she usually don't mess with sensitive dudes. Or, you know, I mean, it's a cool song. It's a cool vibe. Harmless. I love the beat. I love the beat. I think the hook is a little lackluster though. It's just something about it. It, it was just like when you're, uh, man, when you're trying to bunch your words into a bar man they gotta flow they gotta flow and it doesn't flow to me it's just like she kind of tried to add an extra word in there just to make it sound like it was proper english but it right. just didn't sound right nothing new i didn't like that i didn't like it at all uh bittersweet i thought bittersweet was cool it's kind of about like somewhat of a unhealthy relationship i guess you could say it's a cool song uh rotation i didn't like it I didn't like it at all. I didn't like the auto-tune effect. I feel like this is the only song that had auto-tune on it. I was not feeling it. I heard a lot of singers make songs about smoking, and this is not one of the good ones. Uh, Lights Out is okay. The Valley is good. I like the Valley. Fuck it, though. It's cool. I like the change up. I like how she kind of goes into the electro dance sound, like after she says fuck it, though. Kind of like a little break in the song. Mm -hmm. Uh, And Freedom, I thought, was uh, actually pretty good. I like the way she took the route of that song. Um... It's different from every other song on the album, and it just feels good when you listen to it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, overall, man, Keisha Shante, I do like the fact that she sings. Like, sings. Not like Fantasia singing, but she sings. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And she does a good job holding the note. She's uh, very good at, well, I'd say she's decent at songwriting if she's writing these songs. She's pretty decent. And I, I definitely think she has something to offer to the industry. And, uh, man, one of these songs, I want to say it was Lights Out, was kind of like a slow pop song, kind of like a slow down pop song, maybe like maybe 112 BPMs. I don't know. I, I, I didn't calculate it for real, for real, but it's a cool vibe. And I think she does have something to offer. She's a pretty girl. That'll work in her favor. Uh, it's cool. I give it a C, man. I think it's average. Yeah, man. Uh, Red Light definitely set the mood for the album. I thought that was a good way to start. Um, Bryson Tiller, I thought was a real smooth joint. Harmless, I agree with you. It kind of felt like, you know, the vibe and the production was there, but she tried to fit one too many things in certain areas. I actually like nothing new. I thought it was cool. I, I can see why some people might get turned off to it, but I like what she did with it. British Sweet was real cool. Rotation, I did not enjoy at all. I just felt like it was forced. Like, you know, I, I just didn't really like how it sounds. Did the auto-tune bother you at all? Not really. It was just the arrangement of the song itself. It just didn't feel real organic. Like, you know, it just felt kind of cheesy to me. Uh, Lights Out was really good. Valley, I really liked. Uh, Fuck It Though, I liked the break, but everything else I didn't like. That was the issue with it. It just felt like, you know, a little bit too many ideas into one. And Freedom was a nice way to close out. Um, I, I like her voice. I like everything that she brings. Only thing I could say is, you know, I want, want her to be more consistent with her sound because it seemed like she was experimenting with a lot of different things. But Some of these songs are from the first. Um, the yeah, first I saw that because she had Unbound 1 and 2, and this is kind of like them put together. Yeah, she put all the songs from the first one on right. there and added some new songs. So, yeah. Other than that, I, I thought it was pretty solid. I gave it a C C+. You know, I'd like to hear more from her. Uh, I was going at the time to try to check out her old albums. So I saw that she had two other albums that she put out. They weren't one released from, in America. 
I think he had one from 2011 and one from 04. So I was like, okay, she's been in the business for a while. So yeah. yeah. They were releasing Canada. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Um. Definitely check out the playlist this week. Uh, I definitely think if y'all if y'all are curious, y'all should definitely check out Bryson Teller, uh, Bittersweet, The Valley, and Freedom. I mean, yeah, work. Yo, you looking for TV reviews, music reviews, movie reviews? Then check out the only reviews that matter, man. Yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notifications and stay tuned.